spit on them. <sighs> kind of cringe when people say they work at Amazon. <laughs> I'm going to show you your ranking system for today. OK. So one is hottie, hot, hot. And then six is this ain't it. Yeah, you, you blow it. What, what makes a hottie, hot, hot? The least unappealing person that comes out. <laughs> six would be somebody who is not very sensitive. I also find doing drugs kind of really unattractive. All right, Rick, can we bring Lana? Sure. Why does she say that like it's controversial? How are you feeling? Would this be easy? I don't think so. All oh, right, the point of my lesbian story is basically that I, that's the first time I didn't believe in lesbians. It's because of that experience with that girl. Hello. Hello. Nice to meet you. What's your name? Adrian. Adrian, I'm Nika. You kind of have, a, have like a feminine vibe to you, which I do really like. What do you do? Studying to be a gender surgeon, so like for trans surgeries and stuff like that. Okay. Yeah. That was like green flag, green flag. Like Thank that was, you. That's amazing. Um, did you play any sports or do like extracurricular <laughs> activities in school? I did football, basketball, and soccer. Oh wow. And volleyball. Wow. Okay, so when you're addressing yourself, mm -hmm. do you think to yourself, people are going to see me? Okay, never mind. Lesbians exist. Do you care about that? No. Okay. Doesn't care. Do you think I care? No. I do care. The people who don't care don't put effort in how they present themselves. She reminds me of the teacher that you don't fuck with in school, but you after a year, you you start to enjoy going to this class when you've bonded with this teacher. After a year, she ain't so bad, you know. It's kind of like, you know, whatever. <laughs> whatever, you know, we had our problems, but now, now I fuck with you. Now it's like, now I know you. I don't like the substitute as much as you. Fuck the substitute. Now I want my liberal mommy. <laughs> Take that. Okay. Rewind it back. <laughs> I'm gonna give you number two. Okay. Is any of this- Yeah, I think I started that teachers are pedos hashtag. It's attractive to you. Um, not necessarily. What are you feeling? I think four. If one of my friends was seeing you, mm -hmm. there are like things that could be improved on that, that I personally would think is cooler, but you know. Thank you. <laughs> Please enter <laughs> my inner sanctum. Right off the bat, you're a good-looking guy. And you're very good-looking yourself. Uh, um, oh, he's winning points. <laughs> Would you consider yourself a feminist? 100%. What makes you a feminist? Believing that women can do the same thing that men can do. <laughs> <laughs> like what? Engineering? Art? Music? Culinary? <laughs> like what? Like what? <laughs> My favorite thing. <laughs> Okay. You look. You kind of looked away when you said. No, that. I was looking. I thought there was a camera there. <laughs> How tall are you? Six, two, six, okay. three on a good yeah, day. Yeah, that's a good height. I think that's attractive. And what's unattractive? Um, the pearls. <laughs> Not the pearls, bro. <laughs> <laughs> How do you pick up women? Oh, God. I don't. Think. They come to you. <laughs> they do. <laughs> they do. I know this. I'm gonna give you four. Thank you. I think you're attractive just in general, but who knows? There might be more. Yeah, I'm gonna go with one for now. You get the one. Hotty, hot, hot. Well, you're good looking and you're stylish and you're also a very gentle soul, which I appreciate. Arrogance really pisses me off. Hello. Hi. Nice to meet you. What's your Gary. Name? Gary, what do you do? I work with like homeless youth. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I love yeah. that. Ask him what's the last dirty day you Okay. Well, oh, what oh. was the last? Okay, listen. <laughs> what was the last dirty DM you got? I think it was probably like this morning. Um, <laughs> men or women? I have to. Hear. Um, so mainly men. Men. What the hell? Men or women don't exist. Actually, it's all the same. It's just gender, whatever. Well, they say you just asked if I wanted to. Yes. Get sucked. Yeah. All the men are like, okay. okay. <laughs> See? They're like, they're like okay. that's normal. All right. Can you dance? <laughs> you remember that guy? We're having this big debate in the Discord. <laughs> and as I'm arguing with the fucking DG Jeer, some fucking subscriber, long term subscriber, I forget who. 
he joins the VC and he goes, no, Zerka, getting fucked in the ass is a spectrum. <laughs> And every, there's like a hundred of us in there. It was like a year ago when I used to chill in those VCs. And everyone's like, we don't know which team you're on. Like, why did you just interrupt the whole debate like that? Um, <laughs> I wouldn't say I can. Do you like to? Like, I, you go to I, do, I do often. So show me your like two drinks in and like one of your fave songs is playing. Can someone give a beat? Yeah, yeah. Let's, let's give a beat. <laughs> um, why is this a thing? Why does everyone think they can beatbox and dance? And why does everyone think like they can vibe in this moment? And why do they think them knowing it's cringe makes it not cringe anymore? Because we're acknowledging it's cringe. It's still fucking cringe. You don't get a cringe pass just because you're like, yo, this is cringe. It's so fucking everywhere you go, you see this, man. <laughs> yeah, that's it. I'm gonna do three. Okay. And I think that you are like average standards of attractiveness. Yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah. So. <laughs> Hello. Nice to meet you. What's your name? From profile, she ain't that bad. She got a nice voice. Lex. Lex, nice to meet you. This is like super superficial, but I am not a plaid person. Mm -hmm. That like immediately, for some reason, I gingham plaid is like not my thing. They wouldn't let me take the jacket off before oh, I came That's yeah. not true. Lex. You <laughs> but you off. did wear it here. No, no, because it's cold. When you get dressed in the morning, do you think about, well, how do I present? Absolutely. Yeah. It's a thing. Absolutely. For do you every change your clothes a lot? <laughs> Three or four times before I got here. <laughs> Uh, I love that. Do you drink? Do you do drugs? Oh. I do drink and I occasionally smoke weed. I feel like if the other person is high or drunk, it's mm -hmm. really hard to communicate in that time. The stigmas behind them aren't exactly what everybody else does. Okay. I might have to give you six. That's cool. Just because our values definitely don't align. Thank you. I'm gonna give you five. That's cool. I don't yeah. think I'm your type. Yeah. <laughs> I really feel good about you. Should I get on one of these shows? They asked me to be on the Jubilee one when I was in LA. <clears throat> I missed it right on the plane. It's my lucky number. Yeah. There it was go. Jackson's buddy who got on, and then they're like, yo, Zerka, get on one of those. Yeah, yeah, it's very easy to get on. We have a lot of people say no to these. If you have a bit of a following, they'll throw you on. If you're controversial, they'll throw you on. I mean, I have to private all my VODs so they let me on. If they tune into any one of my opinions this week, they'll never put me. But if I muted everything, then they can see some old stuff, which is like, eh. Why two? Because one the, is the stuff that gets me in trouble is when I do it calmly. When I'm screaming, they go, oh, it's a character. But when I say it calmly, like, hey, I don't know about that voting thing, ladies. That's when these guys, like, banish me gone next do you have any hidden talents i can uh do the worm okay we gotta see that yeah. you want to see that yeah. i need <laughs> i need scientific <laughs> proof i know oh. <laughs> don't ever do that again do you drink or do drugs so yes mm -hmm. okay yeah. what do you do for work i've done like three years in tech like tech sales. what are you studying Studying data analytics. Okay, I'm gonna give you six. If we were to like strike up a conversation at the bar, I don't think it would last long. I wouldn't last on this show because I'd be like, yo, everyone here is gay. Am I the only straight dude? And they'd be like, hey man, you said that in a weird way. That sounded like a microaggression. Like, what do I gotta do, suck some cock? <laughs> hey guys, I'm trying to fit in. <laughs> Y'all look nervous now that I'm here. <laughs> Yeah, you guys look very scared, actually. Anyone want to go do a rip in the washroom with me? Huh? Hi, I'm John Zerga. I put women in jail. <laughs> you want a date? <laughs> I put women in jail where they belong. You with five. Why six? In the world, generally, you could probably spruce it up a little. What kind of music do you listen to? But mostly like R&B. Would you sing or rap me your favorite verse? Oh, I can't do that. I am tone deaf. I am like. It's okay. It's we got you. <laughs> Chanel on my face. Gotta block the hate. Real low key. I be out the way. 
I'll take the Chardonnay with the Kobe steak. Hey. Meet me round seven, baby. Don't be late. Hey. Oh my God, I want to kill myself in Minecraft. It's like spoken word out here. Do you know much about like just queer, feminist, like theory studies? Growing up in a smaller town. Look how they try and say like, do you know anything about being woke? Do you know anything about queer feminists? Imagine she said that to me. I go, I know everything about that satanic agenda. <laughs> well, it all started with a man named Albert Pike. <laughs> you want to talk about Albert? <laughs> it's not really talked about, but my first like time interacting with it and like gender studies was in college. So my understanding of feminism is a lot of power and how how much better they have to be mm -hmm. to be equal yes. is is not fair mm -hmm. and um yeah i'm gonna give you one, number one okay you know honestly i think this is like probably your final number i think that the average person would look at you and think that you're attractive i'm sorry you're me me okay i'll take it <laughs> you're me for now i'm me all right are there any numbers you want to switch right now yeah i'm sorry Fuck. I'm gonna swap you two. I, here, it's only on the style factor. I love you and I, here, here. Fuck it. Raise your hand if you got one hottest person in the room. Raise your hands proud. <laughs> Raise your hand if Bella labeled you the least attractive. Raise your hand proud. I'm up there. Are you ready to talk about your ranking system? Yeah, I guess so. Come, to me. Where can I improve? I'm gonna say it. This jacket makes you look shorter. The, the ripped jean thing is not my thing. Mm -hmm. I'm a little more, you know, this. Yeah. But that's just me. You said I'm me. You also had me as a four before. Yeah. I mean, I feel like this so is- So how come the average person doesn't realize this show is just programming? Like, how can Hassan Piker and his chat, how come they don't realize this is programming? What are, the, what are people missing? Like, it's- I'm not mad at the programming. I'm mad at how deliberate and obvious it is. It's so obvious what they're trying to do to a Zoomer psyche that it's like... <clears throat> it's like, where's Waldo? And I'm pointing, I'm saying right there, and they're saying, shh. You know? It's weird. This is like a general answer, but there's nothing that screams like unattractive about you to me. Thank you. Yeah, <laughs> but just like not my type. The scary thing about increasing this ideology based around uh, individuality is that it's like, where is that stream of consciousness coming from that fills every single brain? It fills every single brain and it says you guys are all individuals, but they're all the exact same. Where is that coming from? Why is it when someone goes, hey, I have an individualistic mindset, are they so susceptible to that mind control? Why is liberalism like an, a gateway of absorbing all the woke? Is it a pride thing? It's like, hey, I'm my own person. I'm just a prideful, my own person and what is it about this ideology that makes you so easy to be groomed? And how come lefties are not even as groomed as much, really? Like, a lot of lefties, uh, well, I'm really talking about, like, Haas and those guys, you know? I guess I wouldn't call them lefties, yeah. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Yeah, it seems like the biggest collectivist mindset is the guys who pretend to be individuals, like these people. And sometimes I find the most individualistic mindsets are people who just, yeah, we're born in a system, we're born in a family, we're born into a bigger thing. People like me. It's so strange. Yeah, I think you're cute. You have a good vibe and nice. as a lesbian, find you fit, right? attractive, yeah. <laughs> I like this. <laughs> I need to go drink after here. I'm 19. Oh, well, then see, then there's a problem. Sorry, guys. 
Hello again. Hello. What the fuck? Why'd you rate me a one? Um, I think that if I were to walk in this room without talking to any of you, I think that you would strike me as the most attractive physically. You have good attributes outside of your physical features. If I why do like, why do Anglo white chicks talk to black guys like they're afraid of getting beaten up? It's kind of racist. Like they always do this whole, don't beat me up, you're a minority. Please don't. It's so creepy to me. Like, why don't you just talk to him? Um, I think that if I were to walk in this room without talking to any of you, I think that you would strike me as the most attractive physically. You have good attributes outside of your physical features. If I could do, what the hell? do two ones, I would give you a one too. I appreciate that. I think it was just between the shoes, really, when it came down to it. <laughs> so you gave me three. Mm -hmm. I think that what you do is really cool. I okay. think social work is awesome. And I think that we definitely vibed and mm. it was definitely good. It was definitely good. We vibed and it was cool. I hate when people use the word cool, vibed. Ugh. Yeah. yeah. Where can I improve from here? You dress for comfort. Yes. And that's <laughs> understandable. I get that part. But it's not my thing, of course, because I'll go madly uncomfortable for many hours. But, you know. Three? Yeah. Why? I think that we have, like, a good connection. I think we would have fun if we hung out, but I don't want to, like, make out with you. Oh, <laughs> same. Yeah. 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 Welcome back. <laughs> I think you have like sort of a mysterious, elusive vibe, but it seems like- This is like Inspector Gadget. It comes natural to you. Like it's not a forced thing. So yeah, I think you achieved that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Hey, you gave me a six. You gave me a six. Like the people same, who rank the highest, I feel like I got along with them, had lots of things. You know what it reminds me of? It reminds me of how dogs at the park go and sniff each other's butts and get very afraid of the first interaction. That's what humans are. Right, so they tr liberals drop words like same, same. I'm, I'm with you. I'm with you. I'm with your tribe. Same, same, right? And then there's guys like me who just lay it out, just lay it all out there, right? I just walk in and I go, how about that fucking Donald Trump, guys? Isn't he the greatest fucking president ever? Huh? And what's all this Kanye Hitler talk? Anyone want to talk about Hitler here? <laughs> What did you like about Hitler, sir? <laughs> so I'm fucking traumatizing the whole room. <laughs> you like you like fashion? You like Hugo Boss? <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm, all right, let's just press play. I guess I'm the op. Like my twin brother once said to me, he's like, "You're the opposite." But it makes you the same as everyone else because you're trying so hard to be opposite that you're exactly the same as people who are trying to be the same. I said, oh my fucking God. Things to talk about. And I feel like me and you would run out of things to talk about pretty fast. Damn. I don't think we'd have anything to talk about. Yeah. I'd love to be a full black guy because anytime a girl says something like that to me, I'd be like, is it because I'm black? And I'd make them super uncomfortable. She'd be like, I feel like we'd run out of things to talk about. I'd be like, is it because I'm black? I don't know if I like vibe with you that much. Is it because I'm black? I would just, I would run circle. I would like, she'd have her wallet out. She'd be giving me a hundred bucks. Because if she doesn't, it's probably because I'm black. <laughs> I think I would just spam that race card, bro. I'd never get, it would never get boring, right? <clears throat> I agree. <laughs> Some reparations, yeah. All right. Thank you. <laughs> you know what's funny about reparations is like white people say black people need them, and then every black dude's like this. Yeah, sure. We'll take some. We'll take some of that money. <laughs> like they weren't even excited for it. Nobody was talking about it until some fucking white liberals said it's time for reparations, and everyone's like, "Oh yeah, sure, yeah, okay." <laughs> I guess this is what we're doing now. We're just gonna take some money. Oh yeah, this ain't it. That's that's pretty harsh. I know. Out of this group of men, why is this not it? It's the jacket. The jacket? I can take it off. No. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. It, it, that, that. Still not, not. Someone define Jubilee. What does it mean? Okay, so... It Is it kosher? All right. Me coming from Africa, I came here to 
better my life. And oh, I feel like personally, wow. we need to stop yeah, using the word. It's definitely my episode. But racism, when we don't get something or when something don't go our way, we just so let me jump. I promise you guys, I'm gonna get on this show and I'm just gonna say I'm a black guy and they're gonna be too afraid. <laughs> Yo, I went with Arab to a drive through in LA and I said I identify as a uh, as a uh, electric gay Tesla. And then the fucking person taking my order said, okay, we'll put you under other as a no, no vehicle. And they wrote vehicle and we filmed it for a YouTube video. And then Arab and I got, we were, we were in the drive through without cars. It was just, we're standing and we're looking at each other like, dude, this prank went wrong. Like we were supposed to get a reaction, but they're making us wait in the drive through for our fucking food now. And then we went to the window and we got the food. And that's what LA was like, the UCLA area. And then Arab and I were like, is the prank on us? Like you guys are supposed to kick us out of the drive through because we don't have cars. You're not supposed to let us be endangering ourselves for some burgers, right? And then we filmed the video, and then Arab, Arab and I were like, okay, I guess it's over. Uh, that was funny. But yeah, I'm going to go on one of these shows and just identify as a black guy throughout the whole thing. And then they're going to be too afraid to like call me out. And then when I come home and react to it, I'm going to just become Jewish. <laughs> I'm just going to identify as Jewish. So when they watch me react with all the new viewers, they'll be like, damn, he, he got our ass. We didn't know that they could do that. <clears throat> but you didn't know a Jew could shape, shape shift? They'd be like, oh my God, he said it. I'd be like, I'm kidding, guys. I'm a high-level comedian. My name is John Zerka. I do politics through comedy. Ben, real quick. No disrespect, but racist.